Hello YouTube, I'm taking this video now, but I may not post it for quite a long time. This uh, square rock right here you see in front of me is the center of where a large diameter circular um, fire pit type thing is going to go with a basically a retaining wall that you can sit on around the outside. And I'm going to build in the style of something a guy named Jens Jensen used to build, um, very famous outdoor landscapist. Uh, worked in collaboration with Frank Clyde Wright and some other folks. And uh, anyway, he used to call these things council rings. And uh, that stone marks the center of where it's going to go. And then, as you can see, right there, I just planted a, um, a cherry tree. I believe it's a Bing cherry, if I'm not mistaken. I can run up and just check the tag for archival references, because I'll probably not remember in the spring. And if the sign blows away, who knows if I'll remember. Yep, it's a Bing. I should have trusted my memory. People that know me should know that. But um, Anyway, Bing cherry right there. And over here, I planted a very tall um, flowering cherry. So this will be a nice little spot to sit, um, surrounded by the cherry trees, both uh, the fruiting variety and a flowering cherry, um, which is kind of nice because I think one of those trees over there in the distance, in the center that's kind of golden, I believe that's actually a wild pin cherry um, and planted with a little tiny white tag that you almost can't even see in the video here, but I'll walk towards it. Um, this is an Asian pear tree next to this pile of stones. It looks like a twig out of the ground. I planted it as a bare root tree. It may make it, it may not, but we'll see. It's struggling, but it's the end of the season, so I'm hopefully uh, optimistic that it's just putting down roots. And, you know, of course, the deer have mauled it, and I have the material to put up the fencing, which I'll try to do very soon. Over here uh, in the netting is a pair of apple trees. Uh, these are wine sap apples I planted very early on when I owned the property, so these actually should come into fruit, if not next year, the year after. That'll be their third and fourth year, respect respectively, in the ground. Uh, this right here is a crab apple that was growing on the property that I pruned over the course of the last four years or three years that I've owned the property to try to give it some shape. It's finally starting to get some balance to it. It was extremely lopsided from being overshaded. Um, and then right here is another fruit tree that I planted probably, I guess it was early this spring. Um, and this is a July Alberta peach. So there's a peach tree right here. Uh, that uh, very crooked looking trunk that you can see, kind of horrible shot. Um, that's a native, uh, well I shouldn't say native, it's a European style pear that was growing wild on the property. The pears are not very good. They're very small and very scabby, um, but I'm tempted to chop the trunk off and graft that over to an Asian pear variety. Um, so it's an Asian pear tree right there for pollination purposes. A nice flowering pear which some people don't like, but does serve a purpose. Anyway, these are all kind of in this area around where the current burn pile or wood pile is. Um, and again, you can sort of see the circular area that defines what will be the, uh, the council ring. So let's go here. I think it should be nice surrounded by these trees. It's a bit of a vision statement, a forward looking statement, if you will, for those who follow corporate governance. Um, you can see the house in the distance. Um, I think it'll come together real nice. Uh, the council ring will be faced and made out of the stone that you see stockpiled over there. So, sorry for the shaky cam, but that's where some of that material is going to go. And as you can see right behind me, it's difficult to see because there's still sticks, but that is the apple orchard right there. So, that's what I'm doing with this end of the property. Just a bit of an update. I guess I'll file this under the, uh, under the orchard status. In addition, today I've already planted about six other plum and plum hybrid trees over on the other side of the house that I'll take another video of later.